Hello and welcome. My name is Sylvain Bergeron. I am an educator with Burning of America. In this video, I will give you a brief tour of the main interface of Burning a Toolbox embroidery software. And without further ado, let's do that. You can see this is the screen that opens up when you first open the software. On the left, there will be a column of buttons that allow you to perform most of the tasks available in Toolbox. In the main area are all the embroidery designs you currently have registered with Toolbox. At the top is a search box that allows you to find designs more easily, either by name um, or by numbers. On the top right, you'll see that you can sort this list either by date, most recent on top, or by name. I prefer by date as a rule because my recent work always shows up at the top of the list. However, you can choose by name if you are, you know that that will make it easier to find a, spe a specific holiday design or a monogram and so on. If you scroll down to the bottom of the list, you'll see that here are the designs that were included with the software, even the free trial version. And all these designs, there are 20 of them, are used in the tutorials available on Bernina.com so that you have all the material to test the software before you purchase. Now let's go back to the list of buttons on the left. You'll see that some of them are pale, they are ghosted out, they are not available right now. Uh, these tasks, to open a file, rename or delete and so on, require that you select a design first, then they become active. Now at this point you can see that I could open this file, I could rename it, I could delete it, or I could upload it to my cloud account. When you register your software, toolbox, a cloud account is created for you and that you can now upload your designs to it. I could, in, separately, I could create a new file from scratch. I could import a file from, let's say, a collection I just purchased on a disk or on a USB stick. I could also download a file from the cloud, from the vast library of hundreds of designs. I could pick what I like and bring it in here. At the bottom here are two additional tools. One is to go to my, to my Toolbox, that is your account, basically your information, your email address and so on, and there will be a button in there for settings. Uh, there will be other videos in this series to go into each one of these tasks in more detail. And then when you are done work, you can actually close the software from this main screen as well. If you ever need support, the current version of your software is listed at the bottom. So that's what there is to the toolbox interface. The most common task will probably be to select a design and then open it. And that will be the subject of the next video.